Hey guys, it's Chris Monk, owner of Highline Guitars. And in this short video, I'm gonna show you how I customize a case to fit this guitar. Okay, so this is the case that I'm gonna be customizing uh, for the guitar. And what I need to do is I need to customize just the body cavity area. I'm gonna fit a piece of foam in there, cover it with fur, and that foam will be cut uh, to the perimeter shape of the guitar. That way when the guitar sits in here, it doesn't slide back and forth, which obviously can cause problems during shipping. And the case I'm using is just one of these, um, it's a Chromacast case. And these are a fairly inexpensive, uh, no frills case. Um, I think I paid $55 for it and that included shipping. And you know, it's, it's a no frills case, but it does the job and um, so what I need to do first is I need to start removing some of this faux fur that runs around the outer perimeter of just the body cavity area. I'll leave the fur that's in the bottom and just remove the fur on the side. And then I'm going to fit a piece of um, styrofoam um, into that cavity. So removing this stuff isn't terribly difficult, but it, it, it is glued in pretty well. Uh, so it helps to take an X-Acto and slice around the perimeter and then cut it so that it's separate from the rest. And then you can start to peel the stuff out of there. It's, it's not too bad. So Okay, so I've removed just that edge and you can see it's cut all the way pretty clear and it's a little rough but it doesn't matter because the styrofoam that I'm going to insert into here will completely cover it up. Okay so with that edging out of the way I can now measure the internal dimensions of the case and it's about 14 and a quarter inches wide and the length of this part of the cavity is about oh, 20 and a half inches. So what I'll do is I'll actually cut the insert to be about a quarter of an inch undersize all the way around. That way it'll fit in and I'll have room to tuck the uh, um, fur that I'm going to be cutting later on uh, to cover up the styrofoam. So now I just need to cut the insert. So this is the styrofoam that I'm going to use. It's just a Owens Corning. Formula R 250R10, two inches thick. And I will mark out the dimension and then um, cut out uh, the basic rectangular shape to fill that body cavity. And if you were watching closely in that video, you noticed that the ends of the case are rounded. So what I'll do is I'll just mark that with an old uh, ring, tape ring, and I can just set that down and mark around it. So. Okay, so I've got the basic shape um, of the insert marked out. It is 14 inches this way and 20 and a quarter inches this way, and then I've marked rounded corners. And to cut it out, I'm just gonna be using a jigsaw with an extra long blade here. So it doesn't need anything special. Yeah, fits pretty good. And I'll have room to tuck the fur that I'll be putting over it later. Now what I need to do is I need to lay the guitar onto, make sure it's all squared up, 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'm going to draw an outline. And when I draw it, I want to make sure that the outline is a little bit larger by at least a quarter of an inch of the actual size of the body. That way I have room to cover it with the fur and tuck it down. All right, so that's the outline. And I'm going to cut out just the um, internal part uh, representing the body. This neck part I'm going to leave. I'm just going to cut around here and then later on I'll dish this out with my sander so that it fits the contour of the neck. Here I have the strap button that I need to cut out. And since it doesn't go all the way through, I'll just cut it part way down. And that's where it will fit. And there also needs to be a provision for where the jack sticks out a little bit. So I'll do that right here. And just rough cut it out. It doesn't have to be anything clean because it's going to be covered up with fur. Should be good. Okay, well, to carve out this shape here in order for the neck to fit down in there, I'm just going to use my belt sander to quickly hog it out. If you don't have a belt sander, it's no big deal. You could use a, you know, like an old Pringles can and wrap some 80 grit sandpaper around it and then just sand it back and forth. It'll only, t since it's styrofoam, it won't take long to cut out that or to carve out that shape. insert with some faux fur and what I did was I went to a local fabric store and I found this fake fur stuff that perfectly matches what's already in the case so what I need to do is I need to lay it out over the insert and then I just have to make sure that I'm giving it enough extra all the way around so that when I glue this stuff on, I'm going to be tucking it down into the shape itself. And I want it to overhang the sides enough to where uh, once I've inserted this into the guitar case, I can then tuck these, the extra down into the sides and it will all blend in nicely. So I want to just make sure that I'm overhanging uh, each end and the sides by about an equal amount. And this stuff does have some stretch to it, not a whole lot, but you can stretch it to get things to fit. And then over the back, I'll give it a little bit extra. And then I'll just cut it. And that should be, that should work just fine. Now I'll set that aside, and I'm ready to apply my glue um, to the surface of the foam. So the glue that I'm going to be using is this 3M High Strength 90 Contact Cement. You can pick this up at most hardware stores. And I'm going to set the insert down onto a piece of scrap cardboard so that I can move it around easily as I'm applying the spray. And really where I want... Uh, to focus applying the adhesive is on the top surface area and then down around on the inside 
of the cutout insert. Now, you don't have to worry so much about the outer edges, just on this inside and top area. It's a good idea to wear a mask too. First, I want to remove this piece of scrap cardboard because I don't want to lay the fur on the overspray. Now, when I apply this, I think the best way to do it is to kind of scrunch it up and then just lay it so that you have a little bit overhanging on both ends and then about halfway down the side. Then we just sort of start tucking it into Now the good thing is is you do have a little bit of working time with that glue. It's not going to completely dry up on you right away. So if you need to reposition something, it's not terribly hard to do that. And you will need to reposition, trust me. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and just drop the insert into the cavity. And it fits in pretty nicely. And then I'm going to go back and start tucking in the fabric all the way around the edge so that it blends in nicely. I'll just use an old kitchen knife to tuck this down in there. can see how nice and snug it fits in there and the cool thing is, is it doesn't slide back and forth that's imperative when shipping a guitar so that's how I do a custom case